Okay, now we're going to dip uh, lightly into the mathematics of all this, uh, um, which have largely been determined and uh, uh, formulated by Walter Schauberger. Uh, Walter Schauberger uh, was a physicist and a mathematician, um, and when his father died, he he agreed or he promised his father that he would try and develop a system of physics and mathematics which would be which would explain Victor's theories uh, in a way which was irrefutable um, so that uh, it could never again be said that Victor Schauberger's machines didn't work or that his theories were were invalid and it was this task which uh, Walter set himself um, uh, upon the death of his father in 1958 uh, at the time when they came back from the United States. Uh, <coughs> Walter Schauberg's sim base, uh, mathematical system is, is based on the harmonics of the monochord. This is a, an instrument uh, which was used by the Pythagoreans in order to determine harmonic intervals on a resonating string. And these intervals can only be uh, determined or can, uh, only are positioned at whole number divisions of the string so that uh, if you divide an open string one into a half uh, then you get the first octave uh, so just to the right and the left of this uh, point half position you will not get a state of resonance it only comes when you have done it exactly on the point divided by where you've divided the string by two the same occurs when you divide it exactly on the point dividing the string by three in which case you get a, 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 a sort of uh, tripartite waveform which, which um, moves between the nodes of where the, the string is divided. Uh, when you divide it by four, then of course you get the second octave. And so that all, any string of whatever kind would produce at once a series of overtones, which are the overtone series which rises from above them, and also in the same sense a series of undertones and <coughs> Pythagoras um, and the Pythagoreans made a, s a study of these because it was important to to determine the harmonics of things because they saw uh, the world as being the manifestation of qualities and harmonics or harmonies um, and in fact a student uh, had to study or, or play uh, pluck upon a monochord for maybe a year or two years until he could ha hear uh, 120 harmonics on the string. Now that means the harmonics were going to an extremely high level. Um, this was then important in order to realize how, um, just before I continue that actually, just to show you how this links up with the hyperbole we saw before. Uh, if I can put that to the side and put this on, on here, then you'll remember. Then you can see that uh, the full length of the string is one, which is uh, from here to here. The half is there, and the third is there, and the fourth is there. So that, in fact, this whole hyperbola, it represents the division of uh, a string into an infinite number of um, mm, integral divisions, i.e. dividing by a whole number. And as it's, in, it's infinite, so at the top of it, the quality in the sense of quantity times quality, the quality is infinitely high as is the vibration at the top. And this gives us some idea of how uh, how higher qualities and higher energies and higher vibrations become the controlling force because if we take for instance these uh, vibrations at the bottom we'll say they're one, two, three cycles per second or two, three, four, six cycles per second um, in order to, to be able to resonate with more and more uh, and to be in harmony with more and more things, we have to raise our vibration so that uh, what is the, the, uh, the next higher vibration is in tune with all of these. So if we take the next higher vibration, for instance, as being these green ones, then the vibration of 30 cycles per second is a directly harmonic with 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, and 15, all of which numbers will divide equally into 30. Or uh, 12 would be 2, 3, 4, and 6, or 10 would be 2, 4, uh, 40 would be 2, 4, 5, 8, and 10, and 20. But again, once again, these, in order to combine them into a harmonic whole, they need to be, again, r r associated to a higher number even than themselves. So uh, um, a number 120 
would um, be the number in which to all these various numbers 1, 6, 10, 12, 15, 20, 13, 40 are all <coughs> can all divide into equally so that we, we come back to what I was beginning I said earlier on about energy about the higher energies being the formative energies and when we look at um, uh, this um, vibrating plate we can see again how again uh, vibration is creates a particular form um, here is a, sand, a square plate with sand just sprinkled over it the vibration is started and gradually the final form arises and when that form when that vibration is doubled or when the next octave happens then as is shown in here which is a different pattern then the pattern be more, becomes more complex so here we have the, the, the first, what you might call the bass tone, there is the first octave, there is the second octave, and there is the fourth octave. Again, the complexity increases um, as the vibration rises, um, but the form still has the same fundamental uh, uh, characteristics.